All right, guys, so for the past year, year and a half, myself and Bass Mama have been talking privately about the prospect of hosting our own free speech convention because I think that's something that people really want right now. And if we've learned anything from what happened at VidCon, it's that A, you know, we all in the skeptic community, we want to meet up, we want to be together, we want to hang out because I think we can do great things when we work together, we need a forum where people from all political persuasions can get together. I'm not interested in hosting some kind of echo chamber circle jerk where we don't really have productive conversations. I think VidCon has changed everything. And I think that we've kind of moved into a sort of quasi-political activist phase in a sense. Who would have guessed that a fantastic idea spearheaded by two of the most prominent figures in the YouTube skeptic community would turn out to be one of the biggest shit shows in recent memory? This is a story of lies, dishonesty, censorship, and shadiness. How did an event about free speech turn into one of the biggest failures in YouTube history? We're glad you asked because over the course of the next few minutes, we're going to break down Kilroy from its conception to the scummy and dishonest mess it has become. This is the Great Kilroy Scandal of 2017. Base Mama joined YouTube in October 2015, but her very first video wasn't released until January 28th, 2016, which was titled A Religion of Peace, where she talks about the myths of Islam terrorism. She really came to prominence through the Daddy 5 scandal alongside Joy Sparkle BS and Chambers of My Heart, but she had much bigger ideas in mind. Over the course of a year, she had discussions with fellow skeptic YouTuber Dave Cullen about the possibility of a free speech convention. On paper, the idea was fantastic considering our current landscape is dominated by censorship, deplatforming, and the dreaded YouTube demonetization for having the wrong opinion. This event was meant to be one free from censorship, and thus Kilroy was born. On June 30th, 2017, the Kilroy event was officially announced to take place in Phoenix, Arizona from April 21st to 22nd, 2018. The reason Arizona was chosen as opposed to the convention-friendly state of California was because they would have a much easier time getting support and would be less likely to get protested due to their views. Points. A month later, the crowdfunding campaign was launched with a goal of $85,000, which they eventually surpassed. The guest list was the A-list of the skeptic community, with prominent figures like Andy Worski, Tim Pool, Lauren Southern, James Alsop, and Faith Goldie, among many others. Everything seemed great until it wasn't, and this, my friends, is where Kilroy started to fall apart. Invited guests were forced to sign a 3-year NDA and a 16-month non-compete clause, which barred them from speaking at any other conference, which doesn't make any sense because it was supposed to be an event about free speech. These were later dropped, but by this point, the damage was already done. Guests emailed their concerns to the organizers, but they were flatly ignored. What was even more strange is that certain guests were dropped from the event without warning or notification, like in the case of James also. Guests were also restricted from holding certain panels. When Andy Worski expressed interest in doing a panel about political censorship in comedy, he was denied by the organizers. He wasn't the only one that was denied a panel. James also wanted to do a panel about Western civilization, but was denied by Base Mama and the other Kilroy organizers. By this point, it became obvious that the wheels were coming off the car. It's also the point where scheduled guests started to pull out en masse. Andy Worski, James also Faith Goldie, Lauren Southern, Tim Pool, Dave Collins, and many others pulled out of Kilroy, further crippling an event that had been on shaky ground for months. Surely things couldn't get any worse, right? A Twitter user by the name of Brave in Ruin blew the whistle on a doxin server that was set up by now disgraced YouTuber KrautNT. The server's main intent was to dox people Kraut didn't like, with the main targets of interest being Aiden Paladin, James Alsup, Faith Goldie, Paul Joseph Watson, Richard Spencer, and Stephen Molyneux among many others. But what does all of this have to do with Kilroy? As it turned out, Base Mama was a part of the doxin server along with other well-known names in the skeptic community. To be clear, we're not saying that Base Mama doxed anyone, as there is currently no evidence to prove that she did, but her inclusion in a server created to dox people with differing opinions was not only scummy, but incredibly shady considering some of the targets were guests slated to attend Kilroy. She also made it very clear what she would do to the alt-right if they messed with Kilroy in any way, shape, or form. Fuck our shit up, we'll fuck your shit up until you can't fuck our shit up anymore. 
fuck our shit up, we'll fuck your shit up until you can't fuck our shit up anymore. While base mama doxing people can't be taken as a proven fact, it also can't be dismissed entirely either. I mean, after all, why was James Allsup on the doxing list and then dropped from Kilroy shortly thereafter? Hmm. Really makes you think. When people started to ask for refunds, the organizers said they couldn't because PayPal had allegedly frozen their account. They also claimed the funds were in their account, but they couldn't touch them for some reason. Base Mama wrote in an email that despite raising over $85,000, Kilroy was still not fully funded, leading many to believe that the whole thing was merely a scam designed to con people out of their money by promising popular skeptic YouTubers and then dropping them when they got the money. They were even touting guests that had already dropped out, which constitutes as fraud. And while these have since been deleted, the fact that this event had devolved so far that the organizers were engaged in fraud should tell you everything you need to know about how poorly Kilroy has been managed. At the time of writing this, Base Mama has seemingly fallen off the face of the earth, as she put her Twitter account on protected mode and her current whereabouts are unknown. It's very likely that she disappeared from public scrutiny in order to avoid accepting criticism for her poor mishandling of this entire shit show. She also claimed that she was $375,000 in debt, while simultaneously taking out a $30,000 loan, which makes no sense because if you're really in that much debt, no credible financial organization that's worth their salt would give you a loan. Not to mention the fact that Kilroy was already being financed through crowdfunding, so why would you need to take out a loan if people are already giving you money? After what we just stumbled upon while writing this episode, we thought what the Fine Brothers did was bad, but nope, this is far worse. In our opinion, Kilroy is one of the biggest failures in YouTube history, and at this point we'd be surprised if it even happens at all. An event like this needs smart and competent people who know what they're doing in order to succeed. Base Mama is neither of those things. She has managed to prove that just because you're a good content creator doesn't automatically mean you'll be a good manager or leader. Her poor handling of this free speech event should be a cautionary tale on how not to run an event. Dave Cullen and Base Mama wanted to create the skeptic version of VidCon. What they ended up creating was a shit show of epic proportions that will be regarded as a failure for years to come. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Me and Brandon had a lot of fun putting this together, so I hope you have as much fun watching it as we did making it. This event has been a complete disaster from start to finish, and from an outsider's perspective, watching this convention completely implode has been an utter joy to see. I honestly have substantial doubts that this event will even take place at all with the rate things have been going with all of the drama, controversy, and complete madness surrounding everything regarding Kilroy. If it takes place at this point, I'd be surprised. And to be honest with you, I'm predicting that it will be a complete disaster. But hey, maybe I could be wrong and it won't be completely terrible and it won't be completely a disaster and it won't be filled with ball pits. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, I've got good news. Me and Brandon have lined up the next episode of Dumb Moments in YouTube History. It will be about Logan Paul and his little suicide forest adventure in Japan, which I think you guys are really going to like, so look out for that when it comes out. As always, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel because I have many more awesome videos just like this one. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. This is Thacka Douglas, aka The Unhero, signing out. Deuces, stay frosty and keep it with- Q and outro sequence now.